Spanish Inquisition! Outside left. Two, beginning. <laughs> Here's the whole thing. Two, three. cows come home. There's your chop builders. Thank you. And here it is. I'm going to do one on sax, one on clarinet. Now remember, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Two, 83. <laughs> playthrough of 83 thank you all right so we're gonna do a little bit of a review video for your concert F mini scale which mr. Kugel told me everybody said a little bit of a problem with so I wanted to make a new video um, using this you know this newer version of it so let's let's take a look <clears throat> so let's start with saxophones and I want to really pay attention to the fact that what club we're in so if we look way at the end here I'm gonna have to zoom over so we're gonna actually use this line right here. This is the two sharp club. Now you see this natural here. I just want you to pay no attention to this. I got this. So this right here, this natural, really just don't worry about that. And here's why. Because up here we had three sharps and it's just saying, okay, that one's no longer there, right? That, so that that's all that's really telling you. You just need to focus on the two sharps that are there. So I'm going to zoom it out just a little bit. Are we going to get some? There we go. All right. So this function right here, starting right here in this measure, let me get the arrow, okay. So 
So let's t t take a look. Sharps, you know, bead gesif, B E A D G C F, if you go in that order, is for flats. But if you go in the opposite order, it's for sharps, bead gesif. So F is that first one on that side over there. And then we have a C right after that. So in saxophone land, F sharp is F sharp and C sharp. So in this case, F sharp saxes is going to be your, it's thumb, one, two, three, five, right? The fifth finger. Don't forget the fifth finger. That's probably the most important part of this scale. Okay, and of course C sharp for you guys, which is nothing. Okay, no keys. Uh, we don't have a C sharp until later. So I will show you that. But let's take a look at the first note. We start with D, okay? And then we go up to E. So let's just try the first two notes, D, E. Ready, uh, again. Ready, uh, again. Now this is really bad technique, okay? You don't wanna lift your finger that far up off the saxophone, but I'm showing you that so you can see the finger motion. Now we're gonna do the first three notes, D, E, and F sharp, except this time, remember F sharp is the fifth finger, so you're gonna go D, lift up the bottom finger to go to E, and I lift up my fourth finger to go to F sharp, leaving just my middle finger. Here we go, three notes, two, three, and. Ready, one more time. Okay, now, after that we go D, E, F sharp, G, okay? So after that we go D, E, F sharp, G. You just remove your right hand out of the equation. It's no longer right hand, you just have thumb one, two, three, okay? Here it is, two, three, and. Okay, and the highest note is A. A, all you do is you lift up another finger, thumb one, two, for A. So it's D, E, F sharp, G, A. All right, here we go. Two, three. Okay, that's it. Now on the way down, you start on A, thumb one, two, then you add G, A, G, and then G, A, G, F sharp. You put the middle finger down, not this one, this one, middle finger, two, A, G, F sharp, go. And then we put down the first finger to go to E, A, G, F sharp, E, two, three. And then finally, we go down to the starting note, thumb one, two, three, four, five, six, for the note D, two, three. Now we do an arpeggio, D, F sharp, A, F sharp, D, two, Three. Now, last three notes, D, C sharp, D. So we're gonna go D, which is all six fingers plus the thumb, C sharp, which is just gonna be literally nothing. D, no fingers, not even the thumb. But then you put everything back down. All right, now we're gonna do the whole thing. Ready from the top, two, three. get a new page here okay clarinet time so clarinet <clears throat> we're in the one sharp club let me get this over here let me get zoomed in a little bit okay so one sharp club get my arrow back okay one sharp club we're right here disregard this natural we're in the one sharp club the one sharp is F sharp and we're gonna see that in the bottom of the scale but for now, we're just gonna work on that five note pattern. So check it out. We start on G, right? That's this note right here. And there's two ledger lines, and then we go to the space below it, and that's a G. It's thumb, one, two, three, four, five, six for everything. Okay, and then we lift up a finger to go to A. First two notes, two, three. Okay, now let's do three notes this time. We go G, A, B natural. And just like saxes, your B natural is thumb one two three middle finger right thumb one two three five we'd call it 
So let's do G, A, B natural. Ready? Now this time we're going to go all the way up to C. G, A, A, B, C. Two, three, and... And C, you know, thumb one, two, three. Now we're going to go up to the note D, which is thumb one, two. Ready? Two, three. Now, from going the top note down, D, C. Ready? Here we go. And then this is the most important part. We do D, C, and then B natural, which is the fifth finger. D, C, B natural, which is the fifth finger. Ready? And then we play A, then we finally go all the way down to G. Here's D going all the way to the bottom note of G. Ready? Okay. Now here's the whole scale. Five notes, two, three, Okay, now the arpeggio. You, instead of doing one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, it's just one, three, five, three, one being the first scale degree, that's G. The next note right here, B natural, G to B natural, which is just thumb one, two, three, five. And then you go up to the top note D. Thumb one, two, back to B natural. Thumb one, two, three, five, down to G. All right, so I had to snap these two videos together, but here's the arpeggio. Uh, once again, G, B, D, B, G. The last three notes, G, F sharp. Now you're gonna use the left pinky. So you've got all these keys right here. We've gone over this before, but you've got the cute little pinky, I'm gonna put it right here. You've got the cute, let's get it focused in. The cute little pinky, which is closest to your third finger, if it's right there, cute little. This one is the left upper pinky. This is the left inner pinky, lip. And then lop, left outer pinky, you're gonna use that one. G, F sharp, G, because it's a low F sharp. Okay, so that's gonna be, instead of the F that you know from your E flat scale, it's this one right here, because the key signature. G, left pinky on the F sharp, back up to G. Here's the whole thing, two, three. Okie dokie folks, this is chart 9.5, line 4. Alright, go ahead and get it up, <clears throat> and um, then let's get started. We're still working on our dotted quarter notes. Remember, a dotted quarter note gets one and a half beats because a dot adds half the value, right? Quarter note plus half of a quarter note, right? Quarter note plus half a quarter note equals one and a half beats, right? So a quarter note plus an eighth note equals a dotted quarter note. Okay, um, let's write in the counts. First measure's easy. Big one, big two, big three, big four, and. All right, one, two, three, four, and. The next measure, we have a dotted quarter note in it, right? So beat one and two are easy. Big one, big two. Then we have a big three, right? Little and, little four, big and and okay big three little and little four big and i know that's kind of hard to see on there but um do your best actually let me see if i can whoop scooch you forward okay that might be a little easier to see still kind of hard that's fine all right um big one big two big three little and little four big and all right next measure down here big one it's a half note right two beats a little two Big three, big four, and. Last measure, big one, little two. This, right, is the same as that. It's exact same, right? So big three, little and, 
little four, big and. All right, go ahead and write in the counts, okay? Pause the video to do so, and let's go ahead and start to count. That's way too slow. All right, count the first two measures, first two measures. Ready? One, two, first two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and, good, do it again, tap your foot, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and, good, one more time, one, two, ready, and go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and. All right, go back and count that again if you need to. If not, um, I'd like you to to it, do it, the it, d it, whatever your syllable is for your instrument. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Do, 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 do. Good, one more time. Ready and go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Trombone, baritone, flute, D as in dog, saxophone, B as in banana, trumpet and clarinet, E as in elephant. Ready? One. Play the first two measures. That's it. One, two, good breath. <laughs> same last half as before. One, two, ready, count, go. One, three, and one more time. Ready, and go. One, three, and tap your foot, count, measure 15 and 16 there. One, two, ready, count, go. One, three, four, and one, three, and. Okay, pause the video, go back and do that again if you have to. To it, one, two, to it, go. Two, 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 two. Okay, play it. Go back and to it again if you need to, but play it this time. Ready? One, two, play it, go. Good. One more time. One, two, ready, play, go. Alright. Good job. I don't know why I put my flute over there. Oh well. If you need to go back and do any of that again, go back and do it again. If you don't understand dotted quarter notes, let me know and we can work that out. Alright, good job. some rhythm quote this is broken down very well into two four bar segments so we'll practice you know two then two put them together practice all four and that's what we're gonna do so let's check out this beginning chunk uh, right at the top very easy uh, rhythm so let's work on counting this together ready first two measures all instruments two three count one one two and three E four and one two 
Um, so that was the first three measures. Some tricky things to look out for. Rhythm is pretty easy. One, two, and three, four, and one, two. But right here, the C dotted half, G dotted half. Uh, make sure you slur into it. Make sure it's three beats total. Okay, in this last measure, one, two, and three, four, easy, right? So let's take a look at just that first, the first note I'm not gonna mess with. We're gonna look at measure two, okay? Sax is D, C, B flat, B flat. Remember, accidental so like a coupon that's good for the whole measure. B flat, remember this, one and bis, just like that, one plus bis, all one finger. And go down to this, okay? Whereas for clarinets, that is E flat, which is thumb one, two, and the bottom right side key, but you use that inside middle knuckle, all right? Ooh, totally dry read. E flat. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and play through the first two measures. I want you to count it, sizzle it, say it, do it, whatever. Here we go, two. First two, go. And that's it. C, G, F, E flat, E flat, F, G, and then same on sax, except a few different notes. G, D, C, B flat, B flat, C, D, two, three, Good. Now the third and fourth measure. One, two, D, G, or for clarinet, G, C, two, measure three. Here we go. Full three beats, right? I count two, three, four. All right. Good. Let's look at the last measure of that first phrase. One, two, and three, four. Remember, it's B flat the first time, saxes. B flat the second time. Clarinets, it's E flat the first time, E flat the second time. Two, last measure, and. Same thing on clarinet, two, three, and. Okay, so you play a whole thing twice. Here it is. Two, beginning, and. Ooh, that was bad. I, I psyched myself out. Two, three, and. You got on the second system. So that random clacking, just so everyone knows, that's my dog, right? That's just my dog. Anyways. All right, let's continue. Uh, the best part to breathe, there's no breath mark here, of course. So you're going to play through the whole phrase once, all four measures. And then when you go to repeat to the whole note, play the whole note and then take a breath after it. Um, and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to keep playing from here, here, here. And then once you get to this whole note here, you breathe on the rest. And that's where you breathe both times on the bottom system. So let's take a look at this measure. Let's practice measure five overall, but the first measure of what we'd call the second system, the second big grouping. Ready? Everybody. It's either a C for clarinet, G for sax. Two, three. And you take a breath right there on beat one of that next measure. Okay, now let's look at beat three. Beat two, three, measure three of that bottom system. It's a C for sax, F for clarinet. Two, three, and. Good, let's look at the very last measure. Phoebe, seriously? Make it too much noise. What's wrong? Okay, so it's B flat, A, or for clarinets, E flat with the side, then you take the side key off. Okay, let's play those last two half notes. Two, three. All right, and then finally, probably the toughest measure. We have a rest on beat one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Make sure you get a perfect three eighth notes on that dotted quarter, right? It's it's a beat and a half, three pulses. Two, three, and one. Two, sizzle, and... <laughs> how that works.
works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play from here to here, from back to here. So just measure five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, two, three. So then finally, your final road map for the entire thing, you're going to start and measure one, and you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. So here's the whole thing. Two, and I'll play it on clarinet this time. Two, beginning to the end, and here, and here. all she wrote thank you and thank you for doing my dad my dog uh, Phoebe hello Phoebe thank you so much and have a great day